So your hair is thinning on top and you would love to get your hair thickened out again. This is a follow up video to the video I made on why I chose to have PRP for my thinning hair. In this video we go through the treatments that I chose not to have personally but may be of great use for yourself. Make sure you stay to the very end as I'll reveal what I'm currently using to treat my hair loss. I'm Dr Finbar and on this channel I help you learn to love the skin you're in for enhanced skin health and longevity. Many people experience excellent results from the options I'm about to give, even though I personally choose not to use them. First up is minoxidil. One of the oldest treatments for hair thinning and hair loss is with oral minoxidil. This is a medication originally used for heart disease and as a blood pressure lowering medication. It does this by causing vasodilation, which means it causes the blood vessels to open up. That has the effect of causing the blood vessels in the scalp to dilate and increase the blood flow to the skin and the hair follicles. Now there's a couple of reasons I decided not to try it. The first reason relates to a belief I have that prescribed medicines are used to treat diseases and illness. Now this may sound silly to you and I might change my mind on this in the future but also I do a lot of exercise and my blood pressure is already naturally low. I don't want to run the risk of very low blood pressure which may cause lightheadedness and fainting. Although oral minoxidil doesn't suit me, individuals have to decide if they want to give it a try on their own situation. There's also a topical version of minoxidil which is the same effect of increasing the blood flow to the scalp. Now I did try it for a few months but to be honest I didn't like the bother of putting this on every morning and night and I didn't like how it made my hair and scalp feel. I knew that it may take six months for any benefits to show and these benefits stop and reverse when you stop using it. So I decided I didn't want to commit to using that twice a day for the rest of my life. I hope you're enjoying this content and if you are please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're not already. It really helps me grow the channel. Oral finasteride works by inhibiting an enzyme which is responsible for converting testosterone into dihydrotestosterone or DHT. Now DHT is a hormone that plays a significant role in hair thinning and male pattern baldness. In genetically susceptible individuals DHT binds to hair follicles causing them to shrink and weaken over time. This eventually leads to thinner and shorter hair and eventually then hair loss. So by blocking the creation of DHT, finasteride reduces the levels of DHT in the body which in turn slow down the hair thinning process and may even promote hair regrowth in some cases. Again I didn't want to take any tablets long term and although well tolerated for most men, Finasteride can cause sexual dysfunction and breast tenderness, mood changes and there can be withdrawal symptoms. So again while many people get benefit from this drug I decided it wasn't for me. Let's discuss biotin. Biotin is also known as vitamin B7. Now it's a vital nutrient that plays a significant role in maintaining healthy hair, skin and nails. It participates in the production of keratin, the protein responsible for the structure of hair, skin and nails. Now although biotin deficiency can result in hair loss, hair thinning and brittle nails, it's relatively uncommon due to the abundance of biotin in many everyday foods. So the majority of people consume sufficient biotin through their diets. Some evidence suggests that biotin products or supplementation may help if you have low biotin levels. But the evidence is not compelling enough to confirm its effectiveness in addressing hair loss for those who are not deficient in it already. You could consider trying a biotin supplement for a period as it's unlikely to cause any harm any excess biotin intake will simply be excreted out through the urine. So to date I've had my three monthly treatments of PRP. I've had an update just done last week. I've also started using a phototherapy red light device which I mentioned in the previous videos. There's a lot of evidence on the benefits of red light phototherapy. This video is not sponsored but the one I'm currently using has lots of high density of LED lights and you put it on your head for 20 minutes every other day and that's a very easy thing to do. There's a battery pack and you can do that while you're walking about as well. It comes with some supplements which also reduce and inhibit DHT that we mentioned earlier and that also helps with the hair thickening journey. Hopefully see you soon. There's a link again to the video on why I chose to have PRP.